JKG. Pool or no pool? Alright guys, JKG here, back with another One Punch Man video and it's that time of the month again. It's almost November and if you guys still haven't heard the news, yeah, this episode's pool or no pool will feature none other than Zombie Man, which is a very highly anticipated character. A lot of people are saving for him. So yeah, let's go through his skills. So firstly, we'll go through the Ultra Ultimates and the 5 star passive first, as I usually do. Okay, so for the Ultimate, if you get his keepsake in the future, his ultimate damage will increase from 240% to 300% and then at the same time he will heal all allies after attacking so the heal will also increase from 100% of your attack to 150% of your attack after you get his ultra ultimate and then for the enhanced passive so his passive is when you receive a fatal damage you actually do a AOE damage you will attack all allies with this passive it will be 60% of your attack and then when you get him to 5 stars it will become 80% of your attack and then also you can revive on your next turn if your team still has an ally at least one ally remaining you will revive on your next turn with 10% HP it will be increased to 15% and then your ultimate also revives you usually it only activates up to 4 times and if you have the enhanced passive you can actually revive up to 6 times which is pretty crazy yeah so he is a really good character to have and then next page we have one more slide so it's the core so this was taken from my own channel back then when I just started I there was a quite a lot of things that um, are wrong so let me go through it again so what I mean when an enemy when an enemy has an injury debuff and your team has a question mark. Okay, so at that time I didn't know, know what this was, but now I know it's tenacity. Okay, so when an enemy has a an injury debuff on their team and your ally team, which is your own team, has a tenacity buff, it actually restores two energy each which I didn't put so each which means that when you land an injury debuff on your enemy team you get 2 energy and then when you have tenacity you get another 2 energy so it's potentially 4 energy per battle per round I mean and then this line is wrong as well so can only trigger once per battle it's once per round yeah which is actually pretty crazy so you get potentially 4 energy per round if you have these two yeah which is pretty insane that's just the basic effect and you only need one duelist and two grapplers so grapplers are actually pretty common so i think this is a very easy requirement to hit and then the advanced effect whenever a character takes a turn heal his entire team by four percent up to two times this one is still correct yeah this one i think i didn't make any mistakes there yeah, so this effect only lasts for the first two turns and then a secondary passive Ultimate that causes injury deals 20% more damage So this is actually internal injury This is wrong as well So I'm not sure whether they will change it for our server to make it like both injury and internal injury but from what I know, I think this is only for internal injury. So ultimates that cause internal injury deals 20% more damage. So currently, I think it's only Bakuzan and Silver Fang. Yeah, I think it's just these two. So not sure if this will change. But we'll see when it drops on the 1st of November. And then to activate this, you need three grapplers, one duelist, which is really, really easy as well. Okay, so... Let's go over the pros and cons of the hero. Okay, so the pros. He's a strong core as I mentioned in the previous slide. Also easy core requirements. So grapplers are I think 
probably the most common category right now so there are tons of choices for you to choose from so it will be really easy to hit this and one duelist uh, zombie man himself is a duelist so he already fulfills this part so technically it only need three more grapplers and then two team heals so you can heal your whole team with your ultimate and also your core your advanced core for the first two turns you also get heals which is yeah quite a lot of healing going on yeah and then of course revive so his i think he will be the first character to bring this uh, mechanic so revive will be different from unyielding in the sense that unyielding let's say um, someone attacks my movement rider he activates unyielding and then his second character attacks me then he'll be dead yeah my movement rider will be gone also applies to super alloy so revive the thing is when you receive fatal damage you are kind of like out of the game so this character will cannot be hit he will just lie on the floor so for example like maybe his first character kills zombie men uh, he will lie down on the floor he can't be hit by the other characters on your enemy team and then at the start of your next turn you will revive yeah so i think yeah he will only revive at the start of like his next turn which is zombie man's turn yeah so it kind of ensures that you at least get one attack off and it activates up to four times so you can keep reviving four rounds which is pretty insane and then when it's five stars you can revive up to six rounds so imagine like in a life clash you have 10 rounds and you can already revive six rounds so you have like more than half the time you'll be alive yeah which is pretty crazy and then he also has a decent base hp so he's at 2480 which is kind of above average the highest are like 225 like 2.5k and then there are a lot of 2.3k's so 2.4 is not too bad yeah and then let's move on to the cons so the first con which I'm I actually made a video about this so check out the top right hand corner if you guys missed it it also like kind of got plagiarized <laughs> recently on Facebook so someone took my thumbnail and then also the information that I provided in the video and passed it off as his own post yeah but that's fine um, yeah we'll be replaced by Gyoro Gyoro but it will be in about six months time anyway so dur during this six months um, if you don't get zombie men then you are probably missing out on something big as well because six months if you get 30 36 tickets per month you will get like you are guaranteed to get Gyoro Gyoro as well unless they push forward Gyoro which is what they did with Zombie Man so Zombie Man in the Chinese server he came out on December now he's pushed forward by one month so I have a feeling that they might do that for Gyoro because they don't want us to have so much time to save so I'm afraid they might push this forward but we'll see how it goes and then basic core the basic core requires a specific set of requirements to work so only if you have like injury debuff and tenacity buff then you'll get the bonus energy if you don't have those the basic core is that uh, is basically kind of useless yeah so make sure you have those effects and then he has the lowest base speed in the game at 96 so there are quite a lot of 97 98 99 or even 100 but this zombie man is at 96 so when i say ssr lowest base speed ssr i'm not just talking about limited ssrs i'm talking about every other single ssr in the game 
Yeah, so he's only tied with Piri Piri Prisoner at 96 speed. And the rest is yeah higher than them. Yeah, so really low base speed. And then he has pretty low defense as well. So he's at 97, which is I think one of the lowest as well. Yeah, I think maybe second lowest. Metal Bat and Goribus is at 92. Oh, okay, I saw a few 93s. Okay, so he's at 97, which is not very high. Quite a lot of new SSRs have like 100, 103, 104. Yeah, so I think that is about all for the pros and cons. So, should you pull for this? Yeah, that's the title of the video, pull or no pull. So, to me, whether you are free to play or pay to win, yes, do summon for him. He is really good, unless... I think this will be the only reason you don't summon is that you don't have 180 tickets and if you are free to play, you don't plan to buy any then yeah that's... that's too bad <laughs> you can wait until his return banner in 3 months but if you do have saved enough or if you are a moderate spender not a ne not necessarily a will like for me i will probably get some r d packs i won't i don't think i'll go for 180 tickets because i only have like 30 plus now which is quite a long way from 180 if i do spend money it'll be like a few hundred dollars which i can't really afford right now because i'm getting married like at the end of November so I only have like about a month to go so I can't afford to waste any money <laughs> yeah especially on a game like this yeah so let me go through some good units that you can put in his team okay so Silver Fang so Silver Fang, Silver Fang has both the requirements to activate the passive I mean the core skill so he's I think the best pairing with zombie man if you have him but I don't have him so yeah this is just for those people who did summon for silver fang so this is actually internal injury instead of injury I pressed wrong I typed wrongly okay so tank top master he has tenacity uh, my mask okay so I actually put this injury because um not exactly sure whether they will change up the core skill a bit because as far as I know quite a lot of C server units are actually buffed compared to China server units so there are some slight changes here and there so I'm hoping they can put it injury slash internal injury because if it's just internal then it's just two units which is not that great so yeah if injury actually works then Amai Mask is a good pick also Beast King yeah and then Fubuki 5 stars is a, actually a good tank that can pair with Zombie Man in the front line with the Tenacity buffs and then lastly this might be surprising but if it's injury instead of just internal injury then Tatsumaki's ulti can actually get a significant buff so like 20% extra damage is pretty good and then of course if you have metal knights you can combo them together but then if you need one duelist three grapplers then if you put tatsumaki and metal knight that will be the only two like other units you can put so you can't replace any grapplers or else the advanced core won't work yeah so other than that, some upcoming good units that you can pair him with. So Garo. Garo is a really solid pick, which will be coming soon, I'm not sure when. And then Goketsu as well. So these two have internal injury, which will work pretty nice with Zombie Man's passive. So, I mean his advanced core skill. So ultimates that grants Ultimates that does internal injury will get increased damage. Okay, so Watchdog Man. Watchdog Man actually doesn't have like injury or tenacity, but his passive is really good at 
um, making your team tanky as well so his units on his row will get like a 20% I think max HP increase which will make zombie man tanky as well it's like a mini version of Gyoro Gyoro yeah so still pretty good yeah even though he doesn't have like injury or internal injury or tenacity I still think he will be quite a solid pick and then Phoenix Man I've seen a couple of matches with this before the revive comp zombie man with phoenix man so pretty annoying and then SSR Armai Mask for the tenacity and also the new Tatsumaki for the tenacity as well so these are some good picks that you can look out for these are the upcoming ones and then of course the current ones that already here there are a few 4 star ones so there are a few SR ones so still considered pretty free to play friendly especially if you include this tank top master because you can actually get him for free so yeah quite a lot of free to play friendly units you can choose yeah so I think that's about all for the video today yeah it's another month it has flown by so quickly it's really approaching the end of the year soon this you know this uh, pandemic thing has been yeah it's full of ups and downs i think and i hope all of you guys stay safe at your home um, if you go out please wear a mask avoid crowded areas and yeah let's have a good two more months before we go to 2021 and i hope <laughs> everything gets better from there yeah so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this consider subscribing to my channel it will help out my channel a lot and also like this video and i'll see you guys next time Bye -bye.